Dylan Cervello, and it's cold out. Winter finally came at the end of February. Ah! It's getting tired and warm. I can't take it anymore. Thomas! All right, as promised, phase three has started and is underway. And been talking about it. Here we are in the shop of the future and part of the present. All right, and in comes Tom. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? What are you doing? I am cleaning up all the wiring uh -huh. and running some new hoses for you on your section shutoff for your liquid fertilizer. Oh, Tom, that looks so nice. So these are going to be section control for your liquid fertilizer. So we're going to be shutting off these two rows together. So it's just going to be a shutoff valve. And our feed lines from up here to this big line here. And then we're going to come on and drop it down right here. A pop up for the fertilizer. So the seed's going to be coming out of this chute here mm -hmm. and dropping. Yes, Thomas, that is correct. That is what it is doing. We're going to be applying fertilizer in furrow with the onion seed at a 40 gallon rate. Six of that's going to be fertility, the rest of it's going to be water. That is a lot of product going down an acre, mister. Well, we used to do 70, so 40 ain't so bad. Hmm, it's just different than how we do it with corn. Yeah. No, corn's nice because then I get to just plant instead of run for product all the time. But that came to an end because they outlawed the chemical that we used and they started applying more to the seed. So technology forever changing. changed the game for us a little bit. We went dry for two years. Going dry is just a little rough sometimes. Oh, it's always, they never do that It's way. just, it's, really like it that way. it's, you just need a little something. You just need a little something in the furrow just to, just to break the shell of that seed down, soften it up so that that little seedling, that cotyledon pushing out of that shell isn't stressed out and burning up all of its energy getting out. Well, and that, that pop-up fertilizer also gives a little bit of extra boost to break through the soil. Mm-hmm. Right. Get a good root base going. Mm-hmm. Get it. Because you ain't nothing without a good root, man. That's you, correct. You ain't got no stability. Mm-hmm. Not good. So did you guys get the uh, entering and exiting of the box figured out? Yes, we did. So we drilled the hole here, mm -hmm. and then we each one of these connectors here we pulled through one by one so it looks nice and clean. Wow, that looks like spaghetti. <clears throat> but it's clean spaghetti. It's a lot of spaghetti in a little bowl. Yeah. So there's three Let's modules go. in there. This one down here in the bottom is one that we just installed. Mm -hmm. That's going to be doing the section control for your fertilizer. Right. These yeah. other three sections is... Hydraulic and seed. Yep, so it's going to be your liquid seed drive, which is this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got some seed in today. It's already starting. We got our Catskill. Catskill onion seed already in possession, ready for 2023. What are the chances you finish this up tonight? It's gonna be a late night. Slim to none. Just go home. I'm good. Why? I just. Because it's going to be a couple weeks before I get back. Yeah. And it would just nice to just jam it out, just get it done. That way we're not, it's not hanging on. Yeah, but it'll be here when you get back. Why? What What do you got more important in a couple weeks? Than we've got a whole bunch of cloth pips we've got to get done. And I've got a couple RBR pips that have got to be done also. Yeah, I know what those are. So just product improvement programs. 
product improvement programs? Yes. What do you improve? Is this a product improvement program? No, this is an aftermarket install for 2022 Auburn's number one GPS customer. <laughs> do I get a freaking trophy or something? Oh, you better. I'm going to talk here. I'm going to talk to your salesman about it. Let's see what we can do. Yeah, our salesman. Who isn't here? Where did he go? I don't know. He just dropped me off like a, like, like a bad habit and just took off again. I don't know where the hell he went to. Jesus. Yeah. We're tangled up. New and improved. This is the Mercury switch. Mercury switch for Mercury switch. planter position. And then as the row unit drops, as we're raising the planter out, it's going to break contact and tell us that we're out of our working position, mm -hmm. meaning that the planter is raised. We'll stop counting acres. Gotcha. Or we'll or we will disconnect your seed meter drive or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was intentional. <laughs> or whatever we may want to control. Say we want to shut off the fertilizer pump as we're lifting the unit out of the ground so we're not wasting product when we're yeah. not in the ground. I would like to shut everything off with it. Because okay. I had the uh, button switch on the end. Yep. And there's not a lot of travel in my row unit, so it was like bumping it. Okay. And it was stopping and starting in a rough field this year. Okay. And we saw the drone footage, it was like all these strips all over. It was super spotty, almost like yeah. you yep. Okay. Yeah. So Nothing we could have really done about that, but that was definitely, I was going to do a whisker switch, but that looks like it's just more. Looks just. Whisker switches, then they get caught in the three-point hitch wrong sometimes or something. I don't know. They're just not as dependable as I want them to be. If you want to leave plumbing shit for me to do, and you take care of all the hard stuff that I can't do, I can definitely do plumbing. You can do all of this. We went to college together. If I can do it, you can do it. Probably better. Mm, no, I don't believe that. I do. That's inaccurate. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, you stayed in college for a reason. Dylan went home to the farm for a reason. Not good. Not good student. <laughs> I was a student of everything that you didn't get graded on at college. Well, yeah, but look at you now, though. I know. Who, so who, who's who's really a dummy? Yeah, I guess I kind of. You turned out pretty. Turned well. out all right. Yeah, Thanks, Tom. Did. I appreciate that. Onion planter is a new thing for me, man. Yeah, no, this is this is all new. I don't know if there's many people doing this, Tom. To be honest, and I'm not just saying that to sound cool. But it's cool. I like new stuff. Yeah. This is interesting. You got to think about it a lot. Yeah, I I do actually enjoy this part, working on the planter and just laying stuff out. And onion planting. It's a vegetable. They make vegetable planters. This planter's engineered, but every farmer tailors it to what their needs are for their area. I don't know. It's just this walkway on the back. Dana built all this. He is a wicked fabricator. Yeah, he really is. I mean, he built the walkway. Like, that's not something that people have on the back of their planters standard. And I built the box for the electrical box. I built that. That looks good. I like how your paint matches, how your, your paint on your box mm -hmm. matches the OEM. Mm -hmm. That looks pretty good. Color scheme. Yep. Everything's got to be matching. Yep. I, you know, was going to go to school for cosmetology, oh. but... Uh, Glad you didn't. Yeah. You'd have been an ugly hairdresser. <laughs> yeah, I sure would have. Well, the onion planter liquid system is going to be fed the same way as the corn planter, right? Yes. So we just wrapped up that. We just made the female camlock connection at the hitch. And we actually just got done installing your... All the recirculation circuit. This is an ag leader controlled system on the corn planter. It's all precision planning. So um, this is going to have chemical coming from the pumps before the flow meter. We're going to recirculate this to the bottom of the tank. And if you look in here, you're going to see a white tower. And that's going to keep your chemicals in suspension. So that By keeps the it bracket. This is going to keep this on. These hooks. What if I hit a big bump? <laughs> We're not doing Dukes of Hazard stuff on the mock. 
<laughs> no. So you best not. If I hit a bump that big, I think that these duels will give out. <laughs> well, phase three, getting wrapped up. This is the end of our precision planter upgrades for 2023. Um, we do have some more projects going on this coming week, so look out for those. Something to do with that big green sprayer over there, but you'll have to wait and see on that. But this is a awesome, awesome upgrade to have liquid in furrow controlled by the Precision Ag, by RTK signal of the receiver and display, limiting your inputs and products that you're putting down so we won't be under or over applying we'll be putting just the right amount down well special thanks to this big guy right here Thomas for all the hard work that he's done here and putting this thing together for us Tom thanks for having me Mister. great working with you and until next time until next time how about this Good seeing you. Good seeing you, man. <laughs> well, Nate missed the wrap up of the onion planter with Tom. He's got more customers than just us, so he's back today to explain what we did and why we did it. So here he is. I hate when you over rotate. <laughs> so um, the onion planter we set up last year, I think it was. Uh, with an ag leader in command 1200 uh, reading seed and then we converted it over to hydraulic drive as well uh, so this year we added a liquid fertilizer system uh, tied it into that same ag leader in command 1200 um, and then we're also doing section control on that so uh, they'll have the ability to shut down rows um, all of that is going to be pumped through that same Surefire tower that we had used for the corn planter. Yeah. Simple as that. Simple, but not really. No. <laughs> it's always easier to explain. What did you have to add to the planter? Ed? So oh, we added a Ag Leader Direct Command uh, liquid controller and so the harnessing from there goes out to control the pump, um, the flow meter, and then also back to each of the section, or well, row shutoffs that we had used. Um, the row shutoffs are quarter inch zip valves right from Surefire. Uh, so those mount on each row, uh, just kind of makes plumbing nice, clean, and uh, you know, really doesn't add a whole lot to the planter. It did make it just it's very slick the way it just laid out I was wondering how that was gonna look and I'm happy so we'll be applying liquid fertility on the go hydraulically and applying seed and monitoring seed all with the same display there you go that's an efficient planner right there well Nate we've completed phase three so Here's the check. All right. One more step to paying off Grandma's house so that Shooter McGavin doesn't take it over. There you go, that damn Shooter McGavin. Shooter! Thanks for all your hard work, Nate. It's great doing business with you, as always. Bye.